Hey guys, first off, thank you for purchasing the kit that we offer for the uh, Digit SCL 850. So let me go over a little bit of what that includes. So you're gonna get uh, this cover plate for the dash right here. And uh, one thing you're gonna notice, you're gonna get a template and it's gonna fit in here to cut this opening wider. And everybody says, well, why don't you just put the valve here in the center of the opening that's already there? And you can do that, but with our system, it won't work that way because this bracket that we use for the new spool valve utilizes these two mounting um, holes for the handle already so you don't have to drill in this piece right here. And the other reason we opted to cut it is because normally under use, when you're using this thing, you are, uh, you're leaned up against it. And you know, you want your arm and your wrist to be able to rest against this while you're using it. And so with it in the center, your arm wants to slide off the side as you're using it. So we opted for more comfort so that you can actually rest your wrist and your arm on the handle while you're operating it back and forth. So that's the main reason why we, we went back and forth with which way to do this, but that is the main reason why that we decided and opted to cut the dash opening a little bit bigger so that we could move that spool valve and these controls just to a little more of the right, almost to where it lines up so that it gives you so much more arm room and it's more comfortable. So when you cut this, one thing that you're gonna notice is uh, you're gonna have this sticker here for the throttle. We removed it from this side and just stuck it back on the right side and it all still lines up and the controls are still the same direction. <clears throat> Something else that we did as well, when we cut the dash, it's up to you on this. We're not responsible if you cause any damage. We, uh, we recommend removing the dash completely is what we recommend to prevent any fire or hazards while you're doing this. But you can, and we have seen it done before, you can opt to raise the dash up and put, uh, we put a welding blanket underneath the dash piece. And then we proceeded to cut this way. You can do it that way, but just, just know that however you decide to cut this, the risk is up to you. So we're not responsible for any fire or anything that happens. So y'all are assuming all risk for that as you cut this. But uh, we're gonna get quite a few questions, but that's why we opted to cut the opening bigger is what I just stated a while ago. So on from that piece, you're gonna notice in here, is the new spool valve that's mounted to that plate that you're gonna receive in the kit. So in the kit, you're gonna get the hardware to mount this plus the plate. You're gonna reuse the two mounts for the screws for the handles or the bolts. And then you're gonna get this plate up here with the hardware and then the template. And then all the instructions that includes part numbers and uh, hose length, hose size, fittings, whatever else you're gonna to need to make this happen. Um, so if you'll notice, the way this is hooked up. So this is gonna be your return. It's T, which stands for tank or return. And this side has a P, if you'll focus, which is for pump. So this side for tank or return is gonna go all the way down and you're gonna return it to this block right here, which in the instructions of what we told you on the steps, you'll have one blocked off, which we opted to block the bottom one off and put our return up here on top just for, easy accessibility. And then you're gonna also block this feed off that was used uh, to control the original pilot valve handle, the joystick. So we're not gonna use that, but you could later on opt to use this return and this feed for an auxiliary control if you decided to, it's already set up. So then you're gonna take the, uh, the pump side and it's gonna go all the way down and feed off of this first section of pump here off the back of the engine. So that's gonna feed directly to the new spool valve. And then these four lines here are gonna be your wheel motor lines. And you will have already changed the fittings and the bottoms to accept these new number eight JIC uh, fittings. So this is gonna be for this side and this side of the valve is gonna be for this side of the unit. And so the way these lines are hooked up this top line right here, you can't see because it's hard. It goes, let's see if this will focus. It goes to the back side of the wheel motor. If you're on the front of the unit, this front side goes down here on the bottom. 
So just remember, top is back, bottom is front when you're looking at the from the front of the unit. And so once you get all that set up, then you're gonna come in, you're gonna double check your hydraulic fluid. And then we was able to turn it over and kind of work our valves back and forth to kind of bleed some of the air out as it's pumping it in. Because as this pumps, it will not pump it to the wheel motors directly until you actuate these valves. So as, as we're starting, I just kind of would let some fluid flow to build some pressure back up in the wheel motors. And once it starts, you can run idle to mid range, but you'll want to work the levers back and forth slowly so that it can uh, actually pump fluid to the wheel motor and self bleed as it's running. And so after just a few minutes of running, you should be good to take off and uh, you'll notice a difference right away. If you really hammer on it backwards, it can get a little jumpy, but these controls are so much smoother where they're direct drive to the, to the wheel motors. So something else that we did is we had a problem with the original uh, cooler hoses. So we went to our local hydraulic store and we got the stuff to replace these hoses. And uh, so that was another plus for us. But uh, we do appreciate you guys um, buying this kit. I know it's not much, and uh, but one thing we did try and do is we tried to make the price decent for what we could do to because we're going to offer free shipping. So for the time we've got in it, plus the uh, the materials, the metal, the powder coating, the hardware, the printouts, all that stuff we've got uh, together, we wanted to offer y'all a fair price. But we still, at the end of the day, have to justify being able to even offer this kit. Uh, to the ones that want it. So uh, we're not in it to really make money whatsoever. I mean, we want to make a little profit, but we have to cover our cost and expenses for shipping, powder coat, metal, and all that stuff, and hardware. So, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the kit. If you have any questions, pl please feel free to reach back out to me. Email me, call me. If you call, you have to leave a message uh, as I'm busy in the shop. But uh, we do appreciate you guys, and y'all have a good day.